clubs as uh, CBGB's and Max's Kansas and City. And the dive and uh, the dive nowadays. Yes. No, they're opening for us. They're going to be playing, opening up, opening up for us. It's, yeah. an, it's an action combo yeah. evening. Yeah, yeah, we have it in black and white, so that's that's the word. Interpretation. They did a version. It's going to be on our first EP. It's going to be on the November. 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 Yeah. We no. produced it with Ivan Kroll. Yeah. yeah. No. He works with them. He yeah, that's a, a big project of his. Yes. He works with them. Well, he did. Uh, he did a couple of gigs with them, but he's not. He's not in the in the he's band. He's really pursuing a solo career, I, as I understand. He's in Germany. Um, yeah. Yeah. I guess whatever turns up. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ivan Kroll. Yeah. And the Vipers. And the Vipers also. Oh yeah. That's Good. 
Oh, well, they don't. That's they too bad. That, you know? Oh, that's alright. Uh, someday, someday we hope that... We feel, we feel pretty good about it, actually. Someday we really hope that our whole repertoire will consist of covers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Do they have any problem with labeling you or other bands? Nah. You know, before, before you showed me this article from Billboard, our program director had shown it to me several weeks ago. Mm, was that from uh, oh, Billboard that magazine? Uh, that was from Billboard. Yeah, right. And uh, I saw something on TV approximately uh, two weeks ago where they uh, had a special on late night video programming about bands that they call Roots Revival Bands. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have nothing to do what with that. Those are, like, sure. those are them punk bands, right? I heard about that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm talking about bands that are playing rock and roll these days all of a sudden being labeled as comeback bands, you know? Yeah, well, that uh, yeah that's because they're playing rock and roll. I know a lot of people are labeling those rock and roll bands as like rock and roll bands. Yeah. Because they're not playing that Hollywood stuff, like that English, uh, tech English, metal. that English techno soul stuff or whatever that, I don't know what they've been calling it, but. There are a lot of bands that do seem to want to, uh, play guitars again, you know, mm -hmm. and not synthesizers or whatnot. And there are a lot of revival bands. I mean, we, I guess, we, for lack of a better term, we, we fall into that category. I, I don't look at us as revivalists. I, I mean, if I was going to call our sound anything, I think I'd like call it Clyde. Call <laughs> it. Yeah, we're the new. You got to go back. Sad. You got to go yeah. back to go forward in rock and roll. Otherwise, call you just lose courage. touch with what it is. Well, I mean, how you look at it. Yeah, we get we get a lot of flack for it, but um. I mean, you don't have a slash record around here to promote that music. That's true. No, we're just, next though. Just we're slashers. Well, we I think we stand alone pretty we much. We stand proud. <laughs> yeah. 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 After this, we will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, they're playing a different kind of music in L.A., and we don't, you know, in New York, we're the kind of, you know, call it psych or garage, our approach in New York is totally different, you know, I, you know, I think you would agree that a lot of those bands are coming more from, like, almost like a, a downed out kind of velvet underground roots, yeah. you know, and I don't think that really has anything to do with, yeah, whatever, we, with what we we're might, coming from. We put it in, like, a real neat category. We, if our quality control is, like, if it swings, you know, we'll do it. We just like to have... Real good time. Yeah. I mean, our music is not a doom and gloom thing. It's yeah. an up tempo kind of, you know. It's a lot of it's a lot of amphetamines and beer, you know. And yeah. like, pizza. And not, I'm not yeah. advocating anything. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I'm a lot just, of you know, pizza. You hot know, dogs. it's an up tempo thing. No, I mean. Okay. Pete, okay. Well, anyway, we're. Do Yeah, they're really good. As a matter of fact, we have one lined up on, um, yeah. Right. The Corvairs the right. and the Wombats, yeah. yeah. This next one's with the 3 o'clock. From L.A. Yeah. And Not really, man. When is that going to be? Uh, November, right? Yeah. yeah. No, I don't know. I think it's like the 3rd week in November, the 23rd, I think. Yeah. Or something. I'll be there. I know that much. Yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll all be there. there. I, you know, like, who else? The, the remnants of, uh, what do they call themselves? Kill that guy. Uh, <laughs> what do they call the, the, uh, the Malcasians? <laughs> yeah, and... Hey, <laughs> come on, I'm trying to say something. Like, here it is. Come on. And they're in, uh... Pull the battery on that. Do it on the side. I can't bring you nowhere. No, the Malcasians are a... Uh, they are the remnants of um of the DBs or no I'm sorry wait that's wrong no 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 one of the guys his name is Danny he was the guy who was in the Rabies and this is his new band and and they're called the Malkay there's a couple of his friends probably and some good friends no doubt Well, all I know is that they're Danny, formerly, you know, of the Ray Beats, who's 
who's picked up guitar. He's manning his guitar now rather than bass. Well, that was 